by my calculations, the Olympic Games will be over in a couple of days, 11th of August. It'll be, um, you know, the Games will be over. Um, Nigeria still hasn't made an appearance on the medals table. And, and this got me thinking um, deeply about, about the sports, you know. Um, following the Games, following the athletes, most of the athletes we even see um, participating at, at this level, you know, having gone through trials and all that. I, I started asking myself, um, do we have, does Nigeria have a federally funded um, means, you know, for our athletes beyond those who get uh, sports scholarships to schools abroad? You know, if you look at our basketball team, you look at some of our um, track and field athletes, they're all people, um, athletes who are schooling abroad, you hear that they're under sports scholarship. In fact, some of them have options um, to, to um, participate on behalf of other countries. Um, but sometimes because maybe um, there, is, um, you know, there are too many um, athletes for certain countries, they opt to, um, you know, work for Nigeria. So, you know, are we, are we right or wrong to expect medals from athletes who are self-funded or through their own ability are um, able to get to this level of the game? I mean, what I mean through their own ability, through scholarship, you know, you've done well in exams and the school in America has offered you a scholarship to come and you're using their facilities and it's improving you day by day, but your parents are paying some of the tuition, if not all, depending on what kind of scholarship you have. So, uh, you know, is it selfish of us Nigerians to expect medals from people like that? And then when they get the medals, you know, we all jump on the train and say, oh, you know, Nigerian born, and we're all very happy. You know, sports unites us as Nigerians, as we see every time um, we have any major sporting event. So it's sad, and, you know, it's also a, a sign of the times when, you know, we get to the Olympic Games and we're not even on the table, not even a bronze medal. And yet we see a lot of Nigerians running, uh, you know, taking part in other sports on behalf of other countries. And there's stories, stories about, uh, you know, the, the lady, the shot putter, uh, who's now, who, who got a silver medal, who had a terrible experience uh, with the Nigerian team, I think four years ago. Now she's been able to get to the top, you know, uh, you know, with a silver medal at the Olympics. Why is it that we we see all this? Even what's this girl's name, Rashida Tadeleke, the champion in Ireland, you know, also making waves there. These are all Nigerians doing well in other countries. What is the what, what is the difference? What is wrong with our own system? Why do we excel? when we're running for Portugal and for Qatar and, and, and all these other countries. But when we're running for our own country, you know, we can't, we can't get to the top. We really need to examine these things. It's, it's very sad, you know, if, if sports is one of the ways that our youth can empower themselves. Perhaps the government really needs to consider an athlete who is professional um, will make enough money to fend for himself to fend for his family without needing to depend on government. But you need government facilities to be able to get to the top of your game. That's the honest truth. You know, if you don't have parents who can fund the lifestyle, you know, and training of an athlete, you're not going to get to Olympic standards. So it's not enough for us to, you know, be hailing these athletes and adopting them because they're Nigerian born. Our country needs to do more for them if we expect medals at the level of the Olympic Games. So hit me with your comments. I'm still waiting for some of your videos. If you want to do a video for me to react to some of the things I'm saying, I, I, I look forward to receiving those videos. Of course, we'll edit as required and we'll also put on our YouTube channel. All right. So thank you for listening.